Hello everyone and welcome back to our series on energy fundamentals with Honeybee and in this video we're going to be covering installation workflows for the Honeybee plugin that we're going to be using throughout this series as well as the Open Studio and Energy Plus engine that we'll be using to actually execute simulations under the hood. Now the installation workflow I'm going to show you in this video is a little bit more involved than probably the quickest way to get it installed but it will work on both Mac and Windows, and it will give you a really good understanding of what exactly is being installed under the hood. So, to kick this off, I'm going to go over to the Food for Rhino website. Foodforrhino.com, that's with a, the number four. And I'm just going to search for Ladybug, Ladybug Tools. Hit the search bar here. And uh, you'll see Ladybug Tools shows up right here. This is where you can see basically all of the versions of Ladybug Tools that we've released going all the way back until I think something like 20, yeah, wow, pretty, pretty early there. But uh, essentially, the, you always want to pull the latest one, which will be at the top here. Uh, and you'll see that you just have to log into Food for Rhino. You may have to create an account if you don't already have one. So I'm going to pause it for a second just to log in here quickly. Okay, and it's taking me back to the page, and you'll see that instead of having a login button now that has changed over to a download button, uh, you can just, again, select the most recent version. Right now, the most recent version that, that we have installed as of the time of making this video is Ladybug Tools 1.4. But you can see we generally release a new version about every six months or so. So as you are watching this video in the future, bear in mind that there will likely be a newer version uh, that you should be downloading instead of the one that I have here. So for now, I'm just going to click this download button. And you'll see it, it'll take a while, but we'll get a zip folder downloaded here. And if I go ahead and then open up this folder, and you'll see it's just a zip folder that I can extract, uh, you know, with any utility that you normally use. I'm just going to right click and say extract all to, to unzip it right here in the downloads folder. Uh, and you can see just inside of this folder, there are a few uh, files here. The most important one being this installer.gh and these installation instructions. So if you were to actually open up this installation.txt, there's no real instructions inside of it. There's just a link to this uh, wiki page, which you can copy and paste right into your browser. And this will always have the most up-to-date instructions for installing our software. Uh, you can see that we have separate instructions for Windows versus Mac. They aren't too dissimilar for each other. Right now I'm on Windows, but it'll be essentially the same steps if you're installing it on Mac. Uh, so I'm going to go and click on the Windows installation steps right now. And it already actually tells me this first step I've already done right now, which is download the latest plugin from Food for Rhino. And then inside the download, we'll find that installer.gh file. So we got to open up this file in Grasshopper. Now, if you already have Rhino 7 installed, uh, opening up this file is very easy. All that you actually have to do right now is just double click on this installer.gh, and Rhino should automatically launch along with, uh, along with Grasshopper. It should just take a few seconds. Uh, and you'll see inside of this Grasshopper file, there are just two components. Uh, and you can read along with the installation instructions, but I know this by heart, so I'm just going to keep going with the video here. But feel free to use them as a reference. Uh, all that you have to do is run this first component. So if I double click this, uh, it's going to take a few seconds to run, but essentially what's happening in the background is that it's downloading a copy of Python, which is the language that our software is written in, the Ladybug Tools software is written in. Uh, and it says it was successful. It created a, this folder for us where, where it downloaded everything. And then this, these steps may be slightly different if you're on Mac versus Windows. But generally speaking, you should just look at what's in this panel to, to see what you should do next. So the next thing we should do is run the installer component below. And then we have optional steps, which include installing Open Studio, which is what we're also going to do in this video. But first things first, I'm going to double click this toggle the true to run the second component. And this one will probably take more than just a few seconds to run because it's going to be downloading all of the core libraries that the software uses, all of the Grasshopper components uh, that we're going to be using in this series, uh, they're all getting downloaded to your machine right now and added to that installation folder, that Ladybug Tools installation folder that you saw referenced by the other component. So I'm just going to fast forward for a bit until it's all downloaded. 
Okay, and it looks like it just finished, and you'll know that it's fully finished by this little pop-up message that, is, that comes that says the installation was successful, it, it installed Ladybug Tools 1.4, uh, and then very importantly, it's telling us that we should restart Rhino to load the new components in the library. So I'm going to hit OK right now, and uh, you know, there's a full log of everything that happened in the installation. Again, this might take a few minutes on your machine because it's downloading a lot of content. But once this is done, we're, we're effectively done with this file. I can just close out of this and close out of Rhino. And there's no need to save it. I'll just close the, that installer.gh. Okay, and then next, when I open up Rhino, pretty much everything uh, that's a part of the core Ladybug Tools software will be set up within Rhino. That is, unless you are working in Rhino 6, in which case you guys would have seen the component would have told you to do one extra step which was just to go to this folder, right, that simulation folder that's at, uh, where was it? It was C, users, your username, and then ladybug tools. There'll be a little set python.bat, a little batch file. Uh, this is only if you're in Rhino 6 on Windows that you need to worry about this. But you just double click that if you're using Rhino 6, which I'm not because I'm using Rhino 7. I know everything's good on my end. So right now I know, okay, I know I have the core library set up, but I still need to install the simulation engine, the actual things that run the simulation under the hood. And you've heard me saying that the actual engine that does our energy simulation uh, is called Open Studio, which is really just a software development layer around the Energy Plus engine. Uh, and so when you install Open Studio, it'll give you both Energy Plus and that, that sort of software layer around uh, Energy Plus that makes up Open Studio. Uh, but the key thing that you have to do if you read the, the installation instructions on the wiki here, uh, it'll tell you to check the compatibility matrix. So you can just follow the link here to the compatibility matrix, or you can go back to the table of contents in the wiki here uh, and just check this, you know, click on this 1.4 compatibility matrix. And so this is going to tell you for a given version of Ladybug Tools, what were the compatible versions of Python, Radiance, which is an engine for daylight and radiation modeling, which we are going to be using in this series. Uh, and then we have Open Studio, which is the key one that we want to use here. There's also an Open Studio application, which going to, we will use in a later series, uh, as well as an UrbanOpt uh, command line interface, which, again, we'll even use in a later series than that. Uh, and then also we just note whatever the release version of Rhino was when we when we released a given version of Ladybug Tools. But the key, only one that we really care about right now is this Open Studio one. So I'm going to click on this uh, this Open Studio, and it's going to take me over to actually the the page where Open Studio gets released. And then all the way at the bottom of this page, all the way at the end of the release notes, you'll see various installers for Mac, uh, for Windows, and even for Linux for Ubuntu. Although there is no Rhino for Ubuntu, so I'm afraid you're, you're a little bit out to dry there. But any in case, I'm getting sidetracked. Let us download this this Windows EXE because I'm on Windows here. Uh, and you see, it'll it shouldn't take too long to download. Maybe at most like a half minute to a minute on your end. Uh, and then once it's done, as soon as it's downloaded, you'll just uh, click left click on that that Open Studio, uh, and it will pop up with a uh, a normal sort of installation wizard setup. So and you can just select next. You can take all the defaults. Uh, you know everything is fine in the default way that the everything's set up in, in Open Studio. So as soon as I'm done, you can hit install. It'll ask you, you know, do you want to make changes? You say yes, um, and then you know it'll take a we'll say probably about a minute, a little less than a minute for it to finish installing all of Open Studio. So I'm just going to fast forward here for a little bit. And that was pretty quick. Okay, so Open Studio is done. Everything is, is installed and finished here. Uh, so I'm just going to go and, and check my installation. There's actually a section on, uh, if I were to go back to a, our Ladybug Tools wiki, there is a section on verifying your installation to make sure that it's all set up correctly. Uh, and it gives you a little screenshot of some components that you can use here. Uh, so if I just open up uh, Rhino here, Rhinoceros, I'm going to launch, launch our Rhino. And then I'm going to uh, launch Grasshopper by clicking on the little Grasshopper button, or you can alternatively type Grasshopper in the command bar. Uh, and then you'll see now, if you've installed everything correctly, you should have little insects flying in your tab here. Um, you know, the key thing, there are about five insect tabs here. You may not see the icons. You may be seeing these as text. 
but you can just right click on the on this uh, ribbon here and say display as icons if you like the icons like I do. Uh, and the key thing I'm going to do to verify my installation is under this honeybee tab uh, that you know is either looks like a honeybee or or has the the just the word honeybee. And under this visualize section, there is a HP uh, let's see HP config component that I can drop on my canvas and it will tell me exactly where that that uh, version of Open Studio was that I just installed, so that I can make sure Honeybee found it. Okay. Uh, so let's see. You'll see the outputs of this component. It'll tell you. For example, where the Python executable is that Ladybug Tools is using. Uh, you know, these are all sort of very low-level things, but you can see that we have Open Studio installed here, right? This is that version that I just installed there. You'll see that it actually it includes that version of Energy Plus, right? That is within the Open Studio uh, installation. So this actual uh, Energy Plus installation here is ultimately what really does all the heavy lifting in terms of the energy calculations. And then there are a few other things here, you know, a few other uh, various resources that we use um, uh, throughout the plugin. You could also check the version. There's a, a component called HP Check Versions that will, uh, for example, tell you, you know, verify that the version of OpenCD is the one that you'd expect and that aligns with the, what you saw in the compatibility matrix. So these two are very helpful for just making sure that everything is set up okay. And because I know this component ran all right, and because I know that um, uh, right that this Open Studio installation was found, I know I'm all set to basically run things for this simulate for this this series. Uh, now I will sort of plug one other uh, sort of quicker way of installing uh, for those of you who are just on Windows and who are willing to make an account under our pollination platform, which is the banner under which our, our company of Ladybug Tools produces all of its products. So Ladybug Tools itself is completely free and open source, but we do sell a number of products uh, around Ladybug Tools. Uh, and one of those are a series of CAD plugins directly for Rhino and for Revit as well. But we have a free Grasshopper installer that you can use. It will give you the same exact thing that I just showed here, which includes and uh, Energy Plus Open Studio, as well as all the Ladybug Tools components and core libraries. The easy way that you can get that is just to go to pollination.cloud, and then you can go over to our uh, our Grasshopper plugin page under products, and say download the latest version. You'll have to create a pollination account if you go and do this. I'm already logged in here, so it brings me straight to the page. But you would have to create a pollination account to download the free Grasshopper installer here, which includes all of Ladybug tools. It includes Open Studio Energy Plus. It even includes Radiance, as I met, as you saw in the compatibility matrix, as well as our special plugin that connects to our pollination cloud simulation platform. Uh, so again, this is another single-click, easy way to get it. Uh, it's just for Windows. For those of you who want to do it, because I already have everything installed here, I'm not going to do that that one completely myself. But just so that you guys are aware of it. Uh, all right. So now that you all hopefully have this installed, in the next video we're actually going to get to finally building an energy model in Grasshopper here. So I look forward to seeing you then.